Hey Scoops, it's Pico Churnout time in Knoxville, Tennessee with Bob Tetrahydrokinata Scoops, also known as Michael Fritz. And crap. <laughs> and I'm Scoop of Steve. And uh, we got you, this is the world's smallest churnout. That's it. This is us. We're at the uh, Fancy Pants, uh, where are we, Hilton? We're at the Hilton. Yeah, we're at the Fancy Pants Hilton across from the library and uh, drinking Starbucks coffee. Look. Yeah. I don't know. Might need to cut that out for, uh, for uh, Twitch. Anyway, we got a jock versus nerd for you. Go ahead, Fritz. This question will be for Matt. Uh, the most prominent thing in the Knoxville skyline is the Sun Sphere, which was created for the 1982 World's Fair. In the Simpsons episode number 148, Bard on the Road, they end up in Knoxville trying to see the World's Fair, which ended 14 years earlier. In that episode, what was the Sun Sphere being used for? Okay, now we gotta wait a minute. Da, 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 da. Actually, uh, Jacob can pause it here and then I'll start my quest. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta give the answer. Yeah, the answer is it was being used as storage for old wigs. Yay. Okay. All right, Scoop of Steve here. Uh, Paul, out of these football teams, pro football teams, which of them actually play in the city that they represent? The Chicago Bears, the Baltimore Ravens, the Washington Redskins, or the New Orleans Saints? Da, 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 da. Yeah, go ahead and pause, Jacob. Okay, here is your answer. The two teams out of that list that play in their cities that they represent are the Chicago Bears and Jacob's beloved New Orleans Saints. Salt pork. Salt pork. Have a groovy day. <laughs>